What's up, guys? So today is really exciting. It's kind of like Christmas because it's snowing outside and packages arrived in the mail. I got a Moza Air 2. So if you guys don't know, tomorrow is Terrapthon. I talked about that in my last video, and I'm basically filming most of the event. So I decided I'd pick up something like this to shoot with my Z6. And since this is the one that comes in the Nikon filming kit, I thought I'd pick this one up and try it out and see how it pairs with a Z6. Um, I was looking at the Ronin S. That one's a little bit more expensive. This one looks like a pretty good deal. From what I've seen, um, it's pretty good. So I watch a lot of Potato Jet videos, and this is the one he has. So he kind of inspired me to buy it. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so I unboxed it and I filmed it but I'm not going to put you through the horror of what just happened because it was really long and obnoxious. So just one thing to note, if you're buying this, be aware this does not come with a hard case and to get this back into this case, you're going to have to collapse all of these after balancing them. So every time you want to put this away and bring it somewhere in this case, you're going to have to rebalance it when you get there, which can take like 15 minutes. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have it locked right now so it's not going to go everywhere and break itself. When I took it out of the box, it wasn't locked and the arms were just flailing all around and hitting themselves and I got a little scratch on it already, which is obnoxious. Not a huge fan of the finish. It's this uh, metal flat finish that scratches really easily, so um, be aware of that. But overall, in terms of build quality, the build quality is good. I'm going to balance my Z6 on this guy and then show you guys some footage of this in my apartment so this isn't like a review or anything <clears throat> like full in-depth review I will be doing one of those next week because I am filming Terpthon tomorrow and we'll be using this for like 12 hours straight so I'll have a lot of footage and put together a video uh, kind of recap of that and show you guys what it looks like to film with this thing and hopefully it can last for the 12 hours because it says it's rated for 16 hours on the battery and the event is 12 hours long so I don't know, we'll see. Now let me get this thing balanced and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so right now I've got it on the tripod. <laughs> I say that every time, the gimbal, and it's perfectly balanced. Let's go through the apartment and show you guys what the shots look like with it and see how smooth it is. Oh man, guys, that is so cool. Let me check the shot out and see what it looks like. That was the first take that I went through, and I'm really excited about this thing. It's so fun to operate, and I think I'll be able to get some really cool shots on the stage of people like jumping up and stuff. And I think it'll take Turfthon's videos to the next level. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please be sure to click the like button. Subscribe for future videos, because I will be doing a full review where I'm putting together a whole video with most of the shots of this gimbal and the Z6. So thanks for watching, guys, and peace.